Good morning. Today's lecture is about analyzing a beam using stiffness matrix method. This is a direct stiffness matrix method wherein we are going to add stiffness matrices of two members directly using compatibility equations. So let us proceed towards given problem. So this is a continuous beam fixed at end A continued along node B up to point C. The total span of the structure is 12 meter, 9 meter up to point D, node B and 3 meter up to point C. Span AB is loaded with 1 unit, 1 kiloton per meter UDL and span BC is loaded with 10 kiloton point load at midpoint. With all this, we need to analyze or we need to calculate reactions at A, B and C using stiffness matrix method. So the first step is to calculate degrees of freedom. So for this given structure, there are two degrees of freedom. That is, the beam can rotate at node B and at node C. So if you look at elastic bending diagram of the structure, you could see the given structure is free to rotate at B and C only. There can't be any translation. There can't be any vertical translation as well as horizontal translation because of fixed fixity at A as well as reaction at B and C. But node B and C can freely rotate. Hence, this given structure has got two degrees of freedom, theta B and theta C. So the total stiffness matrix is going to be of dimension 2 by 2. With this, the next step is to calculate fixed strain moment matrix. While doing so, we'll be assuming that anti-clockwise moments are positive. So for span AB, which is loaded with 1 kiloton per meter UDL, the fixed strain moment at AB is WL square by 12. It turns out to be 6.75 kiloton meter. Similarly, FMBA turns out to be minus WL square by 12, minus because we have considered anti-clockwise as positive, hence clockwise becomes negative. Therefore, it is minus 6.75 kilonewton meter. The stiffness matrix looks like 6.75 minus 6.75. Similarly, for member BC, which is loaded with 10 kilonewton point load at midpoint, the fixed end movement is WL by 8. Hence, FMBC is 3.75 kilonewton and FMCB is minus 3.75 kilonewton. Now, the next step is to calculate local or member stiffness matrix. <clears throat> this is the very important step in this particular example, wherein we are going to compute the stiffness matrix coefficient for individual members. So for that, we need to apply one unit rotation at A and to compute what are going to be the moment at these particular points, that is A and B. So when we apply one unit rotation at node A, there is going to be movement equal to 4 EI upon L at node A and half of it is going to transfer at B that is the moment will be and uh, that is movement at B will be 2 EI upon L. Similarly, when we apply one unit rotation at B, the movement at B is going to be 4 EI upon L and 2 EI upon L at A. So these 4, 2, 2, 4 are known as stiffness coefficients for unit rotations along member AB. So these two parameters are being computed for the same member AB wherein one unit rotation is once applied at A, similarly one unit rotation is once applied at B and the respective moments are calculated. From that we can compute the stiffness matrix for member AB which is equal to EI, we have taken it as common since it has got same EI, 4 by 9, 2 by 9, 2 by 9, 4 by 9. This AB defines effect of A on A is means if we apply one unit rotation at A, the movement at A is going to be 4 EI upon L. So this is just sake of for analysis or simplification. We can write AB, AB. So this 4 EI upon 9 defines effect of A on A, that is when one unit rotation is applied at A, what is going to the movement at A, that is 4 by 9. Similarly, when one unit rotation is applied at A, 
movement at b is going to be 2 by 9 so you can see over here similarly when we were effect of b on b is 4 by 9 effect of b on a is 2 by 9 so therefore this a b and a b we need to write it down so that we can understand it in much better sense similarly <coughs> for member bc we can straight away write down using the same logic KBC turns out to be EI outside 4 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 4 by 3. BC, BC. Effect of B on B, effect of B on C. Effect of C on B, effect of C on C. <coughs> Next, the total stiffness matrix K can be then computed using these two parameters. That is, node B is common and A is fixed. Hence, rotation at A becomes 0. Now, in reality, A is fixed. So, the stiffness coefficient or rotation at A is going to be 0. So, there is no need to consider effect of A in system. So, whatsoever we need to compute is effect of just two parameters that is B and C. Hence, we can straight away add component of B directly and then write down this much of a matrix as it is. So, 4 by 9 from the upper matrix plus 4 by 3 then remaining as it is 2 by 3 2 by 3 4 by 3 because our point of interest are just b and c because in <coughs> previous diagram of elastic bending we have already discussed that b and c are rotations so we just need to compute the parameters along b and c so the total stiffness matrix of the structure becomes 4 by 9 plus 4 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 4 by 3. That is effect of B on B. So this is total effect of B on B, effect of B on C, effect of C on B, effect of C of C. That's it. Using equilibrium equation, we need to come up with compatibility equations that is MBA plus MBC is equal to 0. This says that since M node B defines continuity the movement bearing capacity of b is equal to mba plus mbc is equal to zero it is just a compatible equation denoting how node b is going to behave means the movement at b is just because of its continuity since node b is just simple support yet it is taking movement because of its continuity similarly MCB is equal to 0 because it is a simple support and it cannot resist or cannot have a resisting movement. Hence, MCB is equal to 0. Now, from global equilibrium equation, the force acting, that is force matrix, is equal to total stiffness matrix into displacement matrix plus fixed end movement matrix. Now, the external forces for the given system are MBA plus MBC and MCB. Remember, these two forces define our global parameters. That is, that is node B and C. That is rotation at node B and C is equal to the total stiffness matrix, which is 16 by 9, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 4 by 3, into theta B, theta C plus minus 6.75 plus 3.75. This is due to summation of fixed end movement of shared node that is node B. If you look at MBA that is fixed end movement from BA it was 6.75 and fixed end movement from B to C it was 3.75. So the net movement at B is minus 3 kN meter and the movement at C is 3.75 kN meter. Now all this is done is to calculate theta B and theta C. Since the left hand side is 0, then we can straight away compute theta b, theta c by multiplying inverse of stiffness matrix into force matrix. Now the force matrix becomes positive because it has turned the side. So this becomes positive because we have taken it on left hand side and then multiplied it with by inverse of k. Now a small trick to compute inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is just to divide the determinant and swap the parameters. 
if a b c d are the parameters then a takes d's place and d goes on a's place and denoting i mean just multiplying minus to b and c this is how we invert a 2 by 2 matrix by inverting it we have computed theta b and theta c as 0.779 over e r theta c as 2.423 divided by e r next step is to calculate reactions for member ab again using equilibrium equation that is force matrix at ab is equal to stiffness matrix of ab displacement at ab fixed end moment at ab so mab mba 4224 divided by respect to length of member ab theta a theta b plus fixed end moment matrix of member ab now theta a is zero because rotation of a can't be there since it is fixed end so from that we have computed mab and mba this is just to define the dimensions and it can be multiplied since the inner inner element of the matrices are same so the output will be 2 by 1 the outer element so it is 2 by 1 two row and one column so it is 6.92 kN and 6.40 kN so next step is to calculate reactions by taking moment at a it is easy so that we can compute the reaction at a turns out to be 4.46 kN and reaction at b turns out to be 4.44 kN now this is strictly for member ab for these two moment next step is to do, do the same thing for member bc again plot the equilibrium equation put on moments mbc mcb now as we all know mcb has to be zero since it is a simple support so the max also comes up with the same answer it gives us zero mcb is 6.40 now look at 6 uh, mcb is 6.40 whereas mba is minus 6.40 so mba plus mbc is zero so the compatibility compatibility equation also satisfies stiffness moment i mean stiffness matrix method is easy because it gives us a methodology to check our answers like mcb turned out to be zero yes it is logically right mcb mba plus mbc is equal to zero yes it is logically right so the answers are on right track similarly do calculations for member bc calculate reactions at b and c then draw a complete diagram on which we have to plot on reaction at a moment at a rotation at b we have to add up the common node 2.87 and 4. Point, sorry 7.13 and 4.44 to come up with the re total net reaction at b turned out to be 11.57 and reaction at c is 2.87 and rotation at c is 2.443 this is how we use Paris stiffness matrix to compute reactions or to analyze a given continuous d thank you